Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly scopes. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. So Gemini, interesting week. Um, it seems like you're you're highly intuitive at this moment and you being a Gemini they can be challenging for you because you are uh, really focused on understanding and um, processing information through your mind through the rational pragmatic um, way of thinking and analyzing facts but the energy surrounding you is much more clouded and much more confusing confuse, confusing than usually which will force you to be in touch with your highly intuitive self that it's um that energy is surfacing to uh bring you closer to other channels of receiving information and other channels of acknowledging perceptions of different realities and different ways to be in touch with yourself so the moon uh, card is a main opportunity and being in the reversed position we have two different options here either you're starting to see through the fog you're starting to cut through your fears and acknowledging things as they are even if you rationally and logically cannot understand them or things are getting more and more and more confusing because you are refusing to see things in a different way through other sources of um, information you are doubting and you are criticizing the impressions, the subtle intuitions that you are getting from dreams, from deja vus, from little uh, signals on your daily life, from body language from other people. You're just, you're just uh, refusing uh, to see how much information you have been getting lately. And maybe that's why you're feeling so confused because you're not taking seriously um, the, the the information that has come to you up until this moment. So, as a main opportunity, you have as an opportunity to to just be in touch with your intuitive self, to be in touch with parts of yourself that until this moment you haven't acknowledged. But that can be scary and that can bring a lot of fears and anxieties to work on because with the moon nothing is crystal clear and nothing is rationally explained. So you will not find the answers this week and probably in the weeks to come because uh, this is a major arcana card, it's a very spiritual energy surrounding you. And this type of energy, they, they stay with us for um, a long time. But especially this week, that can be highlighted through some circumstance. The need, the need to receive information and to accept information that doesn't come really from normal, normal sources, as you can say and to pay attention to your own impressions, your own perceptions, and your own intuitions. It's, of course, many times uh, we can be mis mislead or uh, have a clouded judgment over things we cannot rationally explain. But this week is also not about acting. This week is about you seeing things from a different perspective and then later making the proper judgment to realize and acknowledge where you can implement that information in your life. But this week is about you receiving, being really receptive to other sources of illumination, of awareness, of becoming much more enlightened, enlightened with uh, things going on in your life that at this moment you cannot really explain but that are causing you a lot of uh, fear 
or anxiety associated with that. And as a main challenge, you have the King of Swords. So again, the challenge is to find the balance between your intuition and your logical self. To find the balance between what you call rationality and irrationality. It's not to be a severe judge of, um, of your mind, a severe judge of the information you get. It's not about that. It's about you, again, being receptive to the moon information and then processing it in the way, um, in the right way within the circumstances of your life. But the challenge is not to be as this king of swords this week, as this really critical, ju judgy person that is always trying to seek for the truth in really conventional um, mindset, authorities, judges, figures, where they just discriminate the information they have in front of them, and that's it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but there's other sources of information and there's other sources of uh, getting to the truth. What I'm doing here right now to you is an example. And if you're watching this, it's another example. So this is a kind of information that comes from intuition, that comes from symbols, that comes from, um, comes from really not trying to judge here what I'm saying to you as well as you not receiving it in a judgy way because this is a type of energy you cannot really explain it's about either you feel it either you resonate with it either you don't and then you discriminate it and you, you work uh, you work it you 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 put it in the proper ways they 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 take place in your life but this is all spiritual energy working with you and trying in trying to make you see different perspectives and different realities surrounding you. It's not only all about the mind. The advice is the lover is reversed. So the advice is to um, really don't, don't try to push too hard this week. Don't try to commit. Don't try to define things. Don't try to seek desperately for a definition or for a clear answer. This week, again, it's about being receptive. This week is about letting things happen and being really watchful about them, observing them, taking it in, soaking that energy in, and then probably next week, doing the proper discrimination. There's um, probably some, there's probably some situation requir requiring a lot of your a lot of a lot of you to decide on something to make a choice and again you're trying to find that answer through uh your usual uh your usual way of dealing with information and of dealing with uh, the proper way of doing things and this week uh you'll be given given a light a different kind of light to where you should be looking for those answers and then if you choose to take it it will bring you much more accuracy and that clarity you're seeking but this week it's about receiving 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 information and allowing it to come not judging it and then um, digesting it seeing what works for you and what doesn't just experimenting, trying it out, not trying to be, but being a witness of what's going on with the energy surrounding you. Not really about pushing it forward, not really trying to commit, not really trying to define. It's about being really open and acceptant this week. The spiritual message is rebirth. So there's definitely transformation and a rebirth taking place inside of you, inside of your yourself um especially concerning uh deeply spiritual deeply spiritual issues with things that um until now you were completely oblivious to or you didn't pay any kind of attention you are paying it now because you are undergoing a rebirth process and this rebirth process also goes along with the need to accept to surrender and to just let it be the more you try to resist change and rebirth, the more 
uh, the process will be harder and the more confusing it will be. So it's really about just opening up your arms and receiving whatever it is around you and then trying to make sense of it. But the sense will come naturally once you do that. And I talk as an experience and of course every single person will experience things differently. But when you just allow things to happen and you don't try to resist it and I mean I have a, a, a Taurus rising I'm not the most resistant person on earth so I'm not here judging you I'm just saying that it took me a long time to get this rebirth to get to this point of allowing it and I still try to resist it many times it's a normal process of the human being but I mean you being a Gemini it's only about your mind because you are a very open person you really um, accept a lot of different opinions and ideas and you thrive on it. You love it. So just try to do it, do it, to do it with yourself this week and see how that pays out. So I wish you a great week. Thank you for listening, liking and subscribing. It really means a lot to me. And we'll see each other next week.